So our image composition is uh, going very well for now. And there is uh, just few elements we have to check and few elements we have to plan uh, for now as we are nearly done with background, with preparing background, with uh, making the general composition of our image. At first, let me check my groups I prepared. As you can see, everything uh, is fine over here, but uh, it's good time to sort out everything. Uh, don't forget to do this, to check all your layers all the time, to see if everything is in order. As you can see, my background layer, in my background layer, I have clouds, which I made before. And uh, of course, uh, two of the stock images uh, which I used to prepare uh, that background. So I'm going to put this into another group as well, Control G, and I'm going to call this group Sky Mountains. Uh, there you go, I can close this uh, group at the moment. Let me check um, the group which I called Girl and actually it's um, not suitable anymore. I'm going to call this group for now foreground, which I think it's uh, more suitable for this project at the moment. And of course um, we have smoke layer and uh, we have, uh, we can close this smoke layer as there's only one uh, small group as there's only one layer and check our girl. I'm going to put this into the group as well. And this group, I'm going to call this girl. And as you can see, everything looks in uh, pretty much order at the moment. So as I said, we are nearly uh, done with preparing our composition, but there's only one uh, thing. Uh, of course, we have to uh, do more. We have to look at our image and see what else we can do? When I'm looking at my image, I see this um, not a really great empty area. And if we want to fill uh, this image, if we want to make this image uh, dynamic and interesting, we have to fill this image with something. So I don't like this empty area. So it would be nice to add some stock images. As you could notice before when I was showing you all the stock images, uh, I'm going to put a balloon over here, which is uh, pretty much suitable for the project I'm making at the moment. Um, so, of course, uh, quite possible if you're doing any compositions, um, uh, the subject of your composition might be different, but always look for something suitable for your composition. And if you have any empty areas, don't try to fill this with uh, something too complicated. Just add some simple things which are going to fill this image really nicely and uh, without any like complications. So I'm going to find my stock image, file, open and as you can see here is my balloon. It's not a huge resolution um, which cost me less money but I don't need really huge resolution for this balloon and as you can see it's really perfect example of stock images. Nothing is better than stock images having uh, which has a white background it's really easy to cut out uh, this kind of image from the background so i'm going to use in this case as i have white background it's nothing more simple so i'm going to use quick selection tool as i don't need uh, anything more complicated i don't need to work out so just sorry for this and uh, just select everything in this balloon around you can see very simple very quick I'm going to zoom this a little bit on this area. Mm -hmm. This small part, uh, in my opinion, doesn't have to be really perfect as it won't be visible. Um, so there you go. Just quick look if my image is selected well. It is. So layer via cut. And there you go. Uh, here is my uh, balloon. I have to move this balloon into my uh, project uh, by move tool. I'm going to move this. And now I have to place this somewhere. So 
I think this area around here, exactly around here, is the, the most suitable for um, this balloon. And uh, we have to decide in which place we want to place this in our uh, layer mode. Let me change the name of this at first. I'm going to call this balloon. And I think we have to place this somewhere uh, in the background as it's a part of our background. So to not do any mess, I'm going to put this layer into the background group. Open background group, move this balloon layer to the mm, background group. There you go, on the top as its element of uh, the closest to our uh, foreground. Uh, but I don't like the shape of it. Uh, for me it's uh, too simple, too uh, strict. And I'd like to do an, some fantasies with this, some kind of mysterious shape. I want to do this balloon a little bit windy, even if uh, it doesn't happen naturally. Uh, images are not real life, so we can uh, do everything we want. Click selection tool, click right. I'm not going to click right on this uh, layer, free transform, and then once again to warp. And I'm going to change shape of this balloon to make this a little bit, for me, in my opinion, more interesting. Even if it's not natural, as you can see, it looks like touched by wind a little bit. There you go. Um, not, not, not so much, just a little bit and apply. And for me, it looks uh, much more uh, interesting for now. Maybe too much. It looks obviously um, a little bit dangerous for these people, which are traveling by this balloon. Another thing uh, which uh, you probably noticed uh, doesn't work so great. This balloon is too saturated compared to the rest of this image. So we have to desaturate this uh, balloon. Go to hue saturation, desaturation, I think around 40, 42. Uh, it's okay uh, compared to the rest of the image, maybe a little bit some lightness not so much as you can see we desaturated our background as well at the moment and it's not our uh, thing we have to do this so we have to add clipping mask create clipping mask and now it's much better i would say this balloon even is less colorful than the rest of the image but it's totally fine i think it's maybe too dark so maybe i will add some more lightness exactly or it's not necessary and other thing in the previous part i add some clouds i add some smoke on the foreground on the background and this uh, image doesn't have this so we have to add another layer with uh, clouds uh, this time create new layer I'm going to call this smoke once again maybe smoke balloon uh, colors are set so just filter uh, render clouds of course as uh, before change blend mode to screen add layer mask to work on this layer mask but of course we will not remove all all the clouds um, from the area around the balloon it would uh, take too long so we just go into invert this layer uh, and i used in uh, uh, layer inversions before so press ctrl and i and i and as you see our uh, clouds disappear and our layer mask become uh, black so the things we have to do, just use a um, simple uh, brush, color white, and paint on this uh, balloon a little bit. And you see, as you can see, these clouds become uh, visible on our balloon. If it's uh, too strong, if you think it's too strong, you can change opacity down, drag opacity down uh, a little bit, which is, I think, suitable. And uh, 
that would be it. We add some uh, nice element to our picture, so our composition uh, looks like it has some sense now. The image is filled from the uh, right uh, bottom side of the image by a left uh, upper side of the image, so it looks nice. Let's put this balloon into the group. Um, I could uh, just control G and going to call this group balloon. So there you go. We have uh, we still keep everything in uh, great order, as you can see. I can close. We still have two main groups, background and foreground. And for me, uh, this um, this part of the tutorial uh, would be done. Uh, the composition uh, has sense now, uh, the composing is done and in the next parts uh, I would uh, retouch this image. There's really a lot of retouching if you want to bring up all details, if you want to bring up some colors, some uh, sun, uh, there's really a lot of editing but composing uh, at the moment I can uh, say is done. We keep everything in order, we have two main layers, foreground, uh, background, so let's go. Uh, to the next parts which going to be uh, photo retouching.